Logarithmus naturalis, the natural logarithm. We represent the natural logarithm with ln. And what when you see ln, we basically know that we have a log with the natural base e. You may have seen e before, or seen maybe if you look at a calculator, you'll see e. This is just an irrational number like pi. But it is very useful to us, and we come across it often. So natural log has is a log with a natural base e. The important thing we're looking at in this video is the inverse relationship between natural log and e. So if we have ln e, we can rewrite that log base e of e. Now, think of our last lesson here. This basically means e to what power equals e, right? Our base to what power equals e. And in fact, um, if we solve that out, we could see that x would obviously equal 1. e to the 1 equals e. So, since we have this um, inverse relationship, whenever you see ln and e, we know that these are simply going to be inverses of one another. They're going to cancel each other out, leaving us with just 1 or whatever happens to be left over. Let's go ahead and do a few examples. First off, if we started with ln e to the fifth. Well, ln and e are inverses of each other, and we're just going to be left with 5. Moving on. Here we have e and ln once more. That's going to leave us with 2x. Bingo. 5e to the ln of 7. Once again, e to the ln are gone. That leaves us with 5 times 7, or 35. Lastly, Q, ln, e to the 5q, ln and e, boom, gone. We're left with q times 5q. That's going to be 5q squared. So that's about it. We just need to know that ln and e are, are inverses, and we're just going to take with uh, whatever is left. Now you may be wondering why in some cases our exponent no longer was an exponent but became a base. For example, ln and e had an exponent of 5, but we didn't have an exponent of 5. Our whole answer was 5. And we're going to kind of explore that a little bit in the future lessons, so don't worry too much about that. But for now, just know e and ln are inverses.